Thank you very much for your time. The Daily Graphic this morning says, government commits to develop more entrepreneurial minds. Uh, yesterday, the Minister for uh, Business Development, Dr. Mohamed Awal, was at the grand launch of the uh, Graphic Smart Minds uh, Challenge, and uh, he, he made mention of that. Well, 2.5 million Ghana cities voted against coronavirus was also announced yesterday by the health minister. 257 electoral commissioned officers linked uh, through fiber cables. And missing Galamse excavator, six busted, comes with a photo of uh, Professor Kabna Fimpon Boati, Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation in a very pensive mood there. Back page of the Daily Graphic, Ghana National Fire Service to train 20,000 volunteer firefighters. That's uh, good. And Providence Insurance donates 100,000 to Accra Academy, of course, to help uh, rebuild the bent uh, uh, halls, uh, Haumado and Alema Hall. If not, some of us won't have halls. Daily Guide, Mahama silent on 5 million uh, euro. Airbus bribe scandal. NDC refuses to sign vigilante code. And Ghanaians want new register. JB Dankwa remembered in Parliament. We still not found his murderers. Ghanaian Times. President cut sword for construction of 17 megawatt solar projects at Kaleo, all the way up north. Missing Galamse excavators. Police nab six suspects charged with stealing. Government commits 2.5 million. Ghana cities to fight coronavirus and hundreds demo over new voters register. The Finder newspaper, 64.9% back new voters register. Survey by Political Science Department of the University of Ghana reveals President Akufuado cut sword for 17 megawatts solar panel costing 22.8 million euros in Kaleo Laura. NDC refuses to sign final roadmap to ending political vigilantism and bridge policy making and implementation gap in public sector Bafwe. Well, my guest this morning is the, uh, the director at the Dankwa Institute, the executive director at the Dankwa Institute. Also, uh, I don't know if he still holds his uh, deputy national communications director role, but Mr. Richard Ahiyagba is here, and also the MP for Tamale North constituency. He's in the race one more time, hopefully to win it. Alasan Sohini, welcome. How are you doing, Alaj? I'm tired. Rich, Alhamdulillah. you have abandoned one of your roles. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You have abandoned one of your roles. No, really, I just haven't been seeing you much. Okay. But, uh, we're here now. We're here. Yeah. We're fine. <laughs> so you say you are no more uh, Deputy National Communications Director? Of the um, I am <coughs> the uh, Executive Director of the Dankwa Institute. Dankwa Institute. Yes, and it's happy, I'm happy to be with you. Okay. Uh, so on that well, note... Have you resigned your position as Communications Director? Oh, he said can he is no to, longer. Can we stick no, I'm to just asking. No, he didn't yeah, say that. No. He didn't answer that question. No. Okay. I because it, because it wasn't a question. Have you resigned? No, no, it, was, it was an Have you resigned your position as the Minister? Can we proceed? I said, I said you have abandoned one of your yes, roles. Sir. Which is which is you? His, his and I said I'm here now. But you said you now you are the executive director. It means that you were silent on the other one. Have you left? Yeah, that it's post? just a new. Is it vacant portfolio? now? Maybe yes. somebody well, wants to well, apply. We, you can you can occupy that position. No, I'm not a member of the NDC. <laughs> I'm not a member of the NDC either. I it, don't have it, a party card. We we don't have to be a member. You can help. That's all. Oh, that's that's so, how you do it. So so for now, who plays that role? There's no want of people to play that role. So it's vacant. We proceed. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, yeah, we remembered uh, JB. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, he's been. Uh, uh, gone for 55 years yesterday yeah. and uh, whilst meditating upon his life uh, I thought that this morning it was appropriate to encourage all of us uh, to emulate the citizenship that he exemplified uh, that he used his life uh, for things that truly outlast <coughs> him and I think that's how I would like us to remember him okay. if all of us mm. can apply our life in service to our country mm. in ways that would outlive ourselves mm. Um, and on that note, um, I would um, I just uh, uh, greet your viewers and uh, my good brother here mm -hmm. and your good self and wish you, I think that's for Honorable Sohini, we met once this okay. year, so, mm -hmm. and I wish you a very happy new year. Okay. Sohini, JB Dankwa, well, he's um, been called the doyen mm -hmm. of uh, African politics. Well, um, he deserves a celebration, no mm -hmm. doubt about that, uh, as one of the uh, leading lights uh, mm -hmm. in this country, uh, it is appropriate mm -hmm. that we celebrate uh, him mm -hmm. uh, along with others who played their role mm -hmm. in making uh, Ghana 
uh, what it is today right? because if there was no I mean if, 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 if they didn't play the rules that they played mm -hmm. positive and negative we would not uh, be here mm -hmm. and um, it is within the right of the Dankwa Institute to celebrate JB Dankwa even right. though um, we cannot forget some of the very negative things that he is said to have also engaged in but mm -hmm. like I said both positive and negative rules that they all played mm. is what has made Ghana what it is today. So mm. if um, the Dankwa <laughs> Institute is celebrating his works, it is all well and good. It is just my hope uh, and prayer that soon we will have an Nkrumah Institute that mm. will also, uh, you know, begin to highlight uh, that great man, that, okay. uh, you know, uh, legend, mm. celebrated not just by Ghanaians, mm. but by yeah. Africans and the world over as one who, you know, <coughs> did a lot for this country. And even within <coughs> the New Patriotic <coughs> Party, I will want to see uh, 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 Dombo mm. and, you know, uh, Buzia mm. celebrated perhaps, uh, even if not at the same level, but perhaps, uh, you know, uh, uh, to some appreciable extent right. because I mean they are the foundation layers of, of that tradition okay. Dombo and, and, and Buzia yeah. so sometimes I wonder why uh, it is just Dankwa that has an institute to celebrate uh, him and to project his ideas but you cannot say uh, there is anything wrong with that mm. you know the fact that the others do not have some of these institutes does not make what uh, the Dankwa Institute stands for. I, uh, I know that there's the Buzia Foundation, for yes, example. Uh, yeah. They've okay. But a that's what that, I think that's that's the daughters Buzia. who are doing right, it. It's not it's right. not like a political. A and AC yeah, Buzia. it's not like the Dankwa Institute where you have a political, you know, uh, fever mm. to what it does. Okay. You know, this is just a family thing. The Buzia right. Foundation is just right. a family <laughs> thing. That's just, okay, just very briefly on that, I think that uh, when it comes to the institute, which I am extending an mm. open invitation to you to come, uh, you find that <laughs> you, you find you serve tea there. Yes, we we'll, we'll make tea. For you. Um, uh, we we celebrate all three um, in all our uh, official documents. Mm. You see all three on our letterheads, so we celebrate all of them. Okay. Uh, the exercise with uh, the, the Buzia family where they have a foundation, mm -hmm. I understand the Dombo family also mm -hmm. have a foundation. I have been working to try to uh, bring all of those uh, units together so we can have a, a front, uh, knowing that that's what we represent. We represent not only Dankwa, mm -hmm. but we represent the three. Okay. When you see in terms of the vision, mm -hmm. uh, Dankwa who laid the foundation and they build on it. Uh, but then when you come there, uh, we, we celebrate all three because that is the completeness of our tradition. Okay, thank you. Let's you get into, let's get into the, let's get I'm into. I'm just trying to find you're, it. You're, it was really a CIA. It's okay. You, yeah, let's leave it there. We have <laughs> yeah. celebrated them and that's all. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. The Criminal Investigations Department of the Ghana Police Service has arrested six persons, including the suspended Central Regional Vice Chairman of the NPP, Horace Eko Ewusi, over missing excavators and other equipment seized by the operatives of the Operation Vanguard. The six suspects who were arrested at Ablingpe in Accra on Monday have all been placed in police custody, assisting the police in investigations. Frederick Ewusi, Joel Asamoa, John Ahin, uh, Adnan Haruna, and Frank Jan were uh, arrested for their alleged involvement in the disappearance of some excavators seized from the illegal miners. After the arrest, the six were taken to the new Washington Bay at uh, Tema Community 1, where they all alleged they are led to have kept 34 of the excavators. The police, however, found only one non-functional excavator at the bay. According to the Deputy Superintendent of uh, Police, DSP, uh, Julian Orbing, who is a PRO for the CID, um, a call. A call, uh, Uwusi, Frederick Uwusi and Asamwa have been cautioned on the offense of stealing, while Haruna Jan and Ahin had been cautioned on the offense of abetment of stealing. This arrest was pushed for by the Minister for Environment, Science and Technology, Professor uh, Frimpong Boating. Richard, I ask you, excavators leave their tracks everywhere they go. How come excavators got missing for a government who says, I am committed towards ending vigilantism? And party functionaries are the ones who are now taking a dig at you in such full glare. 
How do you feel about it? Well, uh, Johnny, um, I, we're not sure yet uh, that, um, uh, but from what I hear, they've been cautioned for theft and other things. Uh, but I, I don't think that we can be uh, uh, conclusive in our, my discussion, at least myself, to say that they've been found guilty yet. Mm. Uh, so we'll make that adjustment for them in law. Uh, but what I, <clears throat> what I think, uh, taking it on face value, mm -hmm. is, is totally unacceptable. Uh, I think that this president has over and over demonstrated that uh, where wrongdoing is found, it must be punished. And I am so happy that the police are proactive on this matter. And since the story came out, uh, they've gone ahead to investigate. And I, I think they've gone to a point where they are sure that these individuals are the ones who have perpetrated that crime. So I, I suppose that uh, the punishment that is necessary will be applied in due course. Uh, but there is something that we need as a country uh, to discourage. And I think uh, if they are found guilty, an example should be made out of them. These excavators shouldn't have gotten missing in the first instance, don't you think? Well, I mean, Johnny, you cannot, uh, you cannot control for that. When individuals want to be... Uh, and I'm using this advisedly, mm -hmm. want to be criminal, you can't preempt people's mm -hmm. thinking, uh, but you put measures in place to control mm -hmm. uh, such behaviors. And he, from what I understand, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Cole, uh, has, Ewusi. Ewusi, uh was contracted to cut the equipment to a location. So it's more or less uh, an undertaking he has with uh, the, the committee. It was given to him for protection. Yeah, no, no. I think I think he was supposed to move them. And they, so he his, his yes, his undertaking was wherever they seize those equipment. Mm -hmm. He was he was in charge. Um, per my understanding, maybe is a, a contract or whatever he has to move them to locations where they are held up until decisions are made uh, on those equipment, what to do with them. And he's used that opportunity, abused it mm -hmm. for certain. Uh, undertakings with the equipment and that's what is found out. I think that he is an individual who uh, if the facts bear out the case uh, will be seen to have misconducted himself. If he gets to that I think that what is necessary is punishment for him. Does it worry you that for somebody who is a vice chairman suspended now, uh, vice chairman of your party uh, a very high ranking party official whose government says I'm committed to fighting Galamse and from his own corner, giving the trust that was bestowed upon him, he broke that trust. And we are told that some of these excavators have been found with galamseas as we speak. Does it give you the indication that we are going nowhere with this fight against Galamse? No, no not at all. Uh, because you see the excavators from galamseas. Yeah. You give it to somebody to keep or cut to safety. Yeah. And then this person takes them back mm -hmm. to go and give to Galamseas. Yeah. What are you doing? Cost 90? No, well, yes, yeah, so that's why the police have apprehended that individual. So that tells you that he will not be in that space mm -hmm. doing that uh, project for the committee that is working on trying to sanitize the, the space. So Was he it, not checked before he was given a job? Well, that's such, I, such jobs must be given to people of integrity. Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of jobs that are given to people, they they are checks. But then when people decide to misconduct themselves, you cannot preempt. Do you that. know if he was checked? Well, I don't think that you would do that necessarily without making sure the individual can do the job. Mm -hmm. And and what do you check? You don't check his mental state. You check his capacity to be able to cut the uh, the equipment as he wants to do. So that is checked, and mm -hmm. he was doing it. Except that the. Uh, like and I'm using the word advisedly. There was a, a criminal introduction that cannot be controlled for okay. from the outset, and that is what is at play. And so I think that what is comforting okay. is the determination and the commitment mm -hmm. to ensure that where wrongdoing was found, appropriate investigation is occasioned, okay. and the conduct is brought to order if it's found guilty. Sweeney, Richard says the government is still committed to to punishing wrongdoers. The president is committed to the Galamse fight. What do you see? They have, the six have been arrested. Police says we'll follow the processes and punish them appropriately where they're found guilty. What do you say? I'll start by saying good morning to you, uh, even though we have already had a conversation. And good morning to our viewers, especially the very good people of the Tamale North constituency. My brother and I already exchanged our pleasantries outside. You see, 
I have often referred to this government as one that is laden with a lot of dishonesty mm. and one that exhibits unmatched cluelessness in almost every enterprise. Mm. Why would you say when that? this fight began, mm. we in the NDC, after some careful assessment of what was going on, mm. said it was selective, especially when the ban on small scale mm. mining was announced. We said after some assess assessment, and you can check the press releases <coughs> and conferences that we held, mm. we said it was selective, the mm. ban was selective, and it was wicked. It was wicked to the extent that were stopping Galamse. they were stopping, in some cases, mm. people who mm. were entitled mm. to mine, had the licenses to mine, mm -hmm. and could be, you know, regulated. Because, you see, small-scale mining is not a crime. So those who were licensed mm. and could be regulated to mine were stopped from mining so that their favorites, mm -hmm. their own people, could continue engaging in what was even illegal. You because they were not sure. doing... No, I do. And I'll give you the evidence. I do. And that is why we said it was selective and it was wicked. Look, in the process, mm -hmm. Hajia Ali Mahama, <coughs> the local, local government minister, minister right. met with district chief executives. And what did she say? that she knows that some of them were engaged in the Galamse fight and warned that she was going to expose and hold them responsible. Till date, what has happened to a single DC as far as the Galamse fight is concerned? She made that point categorically clear that she knew that some of the DCs were involved in it. She hasn't done anything. Now, this excavators that we are talking about. Where were they stationed? At district assemblies. And they vanished. Meanwhile, according to the law, such seized items are to be parked at the police station. So, I believe it was deliberate that they were parked at the assemblies. Wait, they didn't have space at the police station? No, we are not told they didn't have space. Okay. So, I believe it was deliberate because if you have the minister who supervises DCEs mm -hmm. tell us that she knows the DCEs are involved, mm -hmm. and then when you see the excavators, you go and pack it with the thieves. And then when the Galam says, I mean, when the uh, excavators get missing, you act like you are surprised. The minister you asked have, for the arrest. You have, the arrest. you have. Give him some credit. I will get there. I will get there. Mm -hmm. You have Aisha Wong. The senior minister told all of us why Aisha Wong had to escape trial and prosecution in this country. She was described as the Galamse queen. Queen. And she was arrested. And the minister told us that her prosecution was going to bring us nothing. And so they had to, you know, work a passage for her out of this country. The president made a statement after that, that he was misled. Well, that is even more criminal. And you see, what is hurting about all of it is yeah. that the president... You, you have your back. The president... No, no, can you redirect? We're talking no. about excavators and oh, we're going but, to really get issues that are but, unrelated. No, how, I mean, is, how is it unrelated? Somebody cut them, it's lost in transit. It wasn't packed at the police station. I am shocked at he was you. So, he was told to cut them to a place. I am they shocked They got missing you. in transit. So don't be direct. Don't be. So we hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on for me. Excavators for what? The Galam say exactly. seized excavators. But Aisha exactly. won. No, 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 no. But I see. It. Okay, well, you do these things and you just leave the conversation no. to flow without. Because there are serious issues you have I to I am talk about. cautioning you. They, don't push me to even get to the excavators no, and the arrests. Because then yes, you, so you, let me get there. No, 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 but you so, see, so if please, I get there, you don't even notice that. I'm only saying that, that I thought you were direct going to, the I, conversation well, so the, about the, what is that issue. You see, the conversation one 
is about missing excavators. Yes. Carted, Specific issue. Carted, giving to somebody to keep safely. Yeah. To cut to one place because they've been seized. Yes. From Galamsey site. Yes. We are told that some of the excavators seized yeah. have made their way back to the Galamsey site. And Asha and one is the one using it. No, see, hold on. So I mean, see, just focus there's, because we there's don't a, have time there's to a, be there's a brother, doing this. There's a brother. There's a brother. So he's deliberately wasting the time. No, 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 I just say read direct. I, I I get your point, yeah. but I'm also saying that there's a broader conversation about Galamsey, which we have talked so about. So if we narrow it to just excavators missing six people arrested process ongoing yeah we may lose the entire conversation because we set up operation vanguard into ministerial committee to deal with it and we have made a lot of investment mm -hmm. if we narrow it down to just excavators missing and found and people are in custody we will be losing the whole galam safe i don't you think well, we have litigated the part of it where you have just talked about. And we have gotten to a point where an individual has misconducted himself in maintaining or actually looking after the equipment that has been seized from the government. So, so allow, allow, him, allow, him, allow him to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please. Allow him, think, allow he's him. deliberately truncating oh, my so talk. So and you are indulging so him. Yeah. He, you are the one he's opening making, the scope of so the so issue so and getting so all of us Richard, confused. So just focus. So Sweeney, he's raising a point. And Richard, allow him to make his point. Okay. Then I'll give you time to rebut if you can. It's as far as so let's let's you see, make progress. For, so you were on Aisha one. His his yeah. angle, the angle that he wants to take us in this discussion mm -hmm. is the cluelessness that I speak of. We're talking about excavators, mm -hmm. seize excavators, mm -hmm. not in isolation, but in relation to a fight against Galamse. Mm -hmm. Not so. You're talking about seized excavators in relation to the fight against Galamse. Mm -hmm. And why, how come the fight that resulted in the seizure of excavators mm -hmm. could not protect the excavators from being taken back to the sites? Mm -hmm. But if you have that demonstrable cluelessness, mm -hmm. you think that it is just excavators make, from China make, that arrive make, in Ghana make, and make West progress. Make progress. That's the point I make of the cluelessness in every enterprise. Okay. So the point I was making is that from the beginning, the fight has been a sham. You think so? That is why we describe it as selective and wicked. With all our investments, police, with all military, the exa with, with the with the few with the few examples I have given you so far, mm -hmm. with the DCs, I mean, it get you know, involvement told to us by the minister of local government, mm -hmm. with Aisha Wong and the reasons why Aisha Wong was you know allowed to escape mm -hmm. prosecution. It's a sham. It was a sham from the beginning. You had the Anas Amriya Anas video mm. uh, documentary on this whole fight that revealed that the presidency was actually the base where Charles Bisu was coordinating everything and taking bribes. It's been cleared. Nah, What's your point? It's, it's Charles Bisu it's been was cleared. at the interministerial. No, no, the fact of the matter is what I'm just saying. Allah, Allah he was him, not at the Allah presidency. Allah Richard, Allah the him. If he does it to you, okay. I won't agree. No, no, but you have to so, state where was Charles Bisu so, okay, just go ahead. Where was Charles Bisu seated? Just, just go ahead. Where so was he seated? Just go ahead. Where was Charles Bisu seated? No, no, let's make your point. So, so the point I'm making is Richard, that we have that documentary. We have that documentary where Charles Bisu operated from the seat of government and took the brights and did what the government wanted to be done. There's been a report on him. Where? Has there not been no report? Have you seen it? You haven't? You have just been told there's a report and so we should believe it. Have we seen, has anybody seen the report? And that is what, that is what, that is, that is what I find m most dishonest about this government also. So you have the president proceed and blame judges he says that the judges are not helping the Galamsey fight. When his own people have told you, they appoint, the DCs he appointed, his minister he appointed, all confess to their involvement, but the president finds it convenient to blame judges. That's the dishonesty that I speak of. Apart from Charles B.C.U. operation, mm. you have Sir John at the forestry telling us also on radio that big men above him were those aiding the people engaged in this fight. That is also on record. Now, we do know, this morning, mm. I have seen a video. I think it will be appropriate to call that video Party Hiasika video. I have not seen the video. So well, I I'll share with you. I cannot Party speak to it. Where you have a wusi, 
interacting with the Minister for Environment, Dr. Frimpon Wating, and asking the minister, are you not the one, didn't I come to you with Sir John? Our general secretary to tell you the party wanted money. Is not the I mean, sorry, secretary. sorry, for, uh, former, uh, general uh, uh, former general secretary. The boss of I mean, forestry. Commission. No, no, yes, I get it. But he's asking the minister mm. that didn't I come to you with John Buedu? Didn't I come to you with John Buedu? Well, we haven't seen what video. The video is right here. I can well, share we, it with we, you. We have not seen the yeah, video. So what you listen, listen. You want me no, to no, play? No, no, no. We can't. You can't, we can't if you play it here, we can't hear it. So but, let's. Yes, but I can share it with you. We can't admit it now. The minister is being asked by Ewusi. Didn't I come to you with John Buedu? So your point is... And didn't John Buedu, didn't John, John, John Buedu and I tell you that the party needed money and we needed to do this operation so what's your that point? you are now holding me responsible what's your for? Point? My point is that the excavators that have now even been blamed on Ewusi, mm -hmm. Ewusi is trying to vindicate himself that he's not, he didn't do it so moto. So you are, he did you it, are, you are accusing he that did as a grand scheme. He did it with the tacit approval of the minister. Who is and the for government his of the NPP. But it's the minister that is calling for I his am arrest. sure that is why he has found it necessary to record the minister. And in that video, the minister is admitting that, yes, didn't I come to you with John Boydo? He said, yes, you came. Didn't we tell you party needed money? Oh, yes, you did. And didn't we tell and you that we're going to put this scheme journey. in place? And Allah, the minister Allah, said, Richard. and the minister said, ah, but I told you to go to Wuntumi's uh, 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 concession. I told you to go to Wintumi's concession and we'll work out the model where, and you didn't come where, back Where to do me. we go from here, this is, the, the, this is the reason. Where do we go from here? The people who, this is, who this, will, this who is be the, drinking dirty water, heavy metals in their water, what hope is there for them if, if we say if we, we told do you not we didn't clear, tell you? If we, did not, if we do not clear this mess mm. of a government that is not committed, that is dishonest, that is clueless, we cannot save the people who are at the receiving end of this illegal act okay. of Galamseyes. Thank you. Thank that you very much. That is the point. I'm grateful. That has to be. Let's take a look at the video the Honorable Sweeney was talking about briefly. And then when we get back, we'll talk to uh, Richard and here. But he's got some rebuttals to make, I'm sure. And um, Richard, let's let's start with you on, on this one. But while we read the video, Sweeney made some very damning allegations that this whole thing is a sham. And uh, okay, I'm told the video is ready. Let's, let's take a look at the video. What about it? What's your name? I was MP. I was a MP. I was a MP. I MP. I was a was an equation in a Excavated the river, we will see I don't even know this Amazon Falcon. Who is he? Amazon member of parliament for AAK. I don't know him. Because I'm going to say that I'm allowed to cook or change. And the thing is, look, please go out. Don't annoy me today. Please walk out. Oh, my million, my million, my million, please. No, no, I don't like it. Prof, say anything about him. No, but see, you, if I come to a question, I don't like it. You go when I'm ready because I'm doing something for tomorrow. No, Prof, I thought so be you. Maybe when many don't wait any about with regards to Yenye Edma and first can come apart. Yes. Who Prof? I na woman me authorization. So me inform me team na me say she have no money say Edma. Yes. What prof now saying catch him say a year team now message him me for gizo me for yes sir but do you tell me say why why is that team maybe oh prof we talk about the framework in fact you know me say party yes and it's okay let's uh what to me now you go to the concession so what to me what concession so you go there and spread the case that's from a team. But they can't, you know, one, one can't tell us what we are going for you. I don't know. But we talk about the framework. When you can say, Quran, I will see more. I will call Takwa. I brought my car, sir. Every hobby, the kids will move us for their things. Every move, baby. A home where you may employ you. One can say, Quran, I will see more. It's a one. No, 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 no,
Okay, so a call we we'll see in, in that uh, the voice. Well, we, we have not cleared that yet, yes, but uh, we also, he's been mentioning Prof. Prof. suggesting that maybe that's uh, Prof. Zafrin Pombati. We, we have not seen their faces and uh, we have no voice aspects at this point to, to check. But Richard, this is the video Sweeney was talking about. Take, oh, allow him. You, that, that's to what, to you, are, that's what you are calling it. We don't have a title for it uh, yet. But Richard, take a bite. Johnny. Um, it gets to a point where this whole thing becomes sure. painful. Mm. You understand? To have a serious conversation about moving this country forward. Mm. And what my brother would do today is to bring some kind of video with voices on it. You don't see face. <laughs> and you can hear from that video. I'm not... I'm just telling you what my observation right, is. Right. Mm. Is that you have an individual whose face you can't see... Mm. Asking certain questions and mentioning people's names. Okay? I don't want to take that video seriously. Okay. But the point of the matter is, the issue raised this morning for us to discuss has nothing to do with this. If you have an occasion mm. to discuss this video, bring this video and discuss it on merit. Okay. But we're talking about an occasion where somebody inappropriately mm. possessed some earth-moving equipment. Mm. We are interested in that. Police have arrested that individual. Tell me the justice our discussion this morning will do to feathering that conversation of bringing justice to okay. the people of this country okay. uh -huh, in relation to the equipment that have been so seized you don't and want the to individual the arrested. I get it, if right. you don't want to discuss the video. And Let, let's discuss the points that Suhini raised. Yes. For example, he says that Haji Alima Mahama, Minister for Local Government, met the DCEs mm -hmm. and said to them directly that she knows that some of them are involved in Galamse. Yeah. His issue is that if you know that these people are good people of Ghana, yeah. are involved in Galamse, yeah. why do you seize uh, equipment meant for harming the environment and you keep it with them? That's his first question. Johnny. What do you say to that? Johnny, you see, if, if Sweeney and the NDC want to go this route, I guess we can do that. Okay. Okay. Which route is Which, that? Uh, the route of just putting spurious allegations and just moving with words mm -hmm. without dealing with the issue before us. Mm -hmm. We're in this country when this uh, Airbus thing came up. I know uh, Sweeney doesn't want to discuss that. I want to. You don't Bring want to. On. So that's how come now this simple you. issue of somebody has committed... Hold on. Allah, Allah, simple Allah, Allah, issue Allah. of somebody has committed a crime in relation to moving equipment that we can't find and now we realize that he's... He's uh, misappropriate them. And then we are trying to arrest that individual, investigate and find that. He's diverted this discussion into talking about things unrelated because the, he doesn't want to focus. The, the, I am telling the you, The admission Johnny. of the yeah. Peace FM reporter uh, yeah. who says that some monies were paid into his account, to his account for exchange of yesterday was all over in the news. Um, and f somebody's were paid into to his account. To echo his account? No, into his account. And then he would... He would forward it on to uh, a coin and his click uh -huh. for for the release of these excavators. It should be of concern. It's to absolutely you of concern to me, and that's what I said. If an individual has been criminal, okay, mm -hmm. then let's be let's be happy that he's been apprehended, and let's all engage in the conversation that leads to his prosecution and punishment. Aisha Wan, he mentions saying you want to respond, but to you that. see, we're not talking about Aisha Wan. That's the difficulty. She said Galamse Queen. No, no, no. What issue did you raise in the papers? What did you talk about? Let's be specific and do that's how we make progress. This thing about moving left, right, center, it's not getting but, us but anywhere. The excavators, you see, the that's, excavators. That's, that's why I find it difficult. Yeah. You see, the excavators were impounded in relation to the fight against Galamse, correct? Yes. So, but what is what what was the arrest about? So if the excavators are back at the Galamse site, yes. we should be interested in the broader conversation. So are you not happy, Johnny? Yeah. The Gal the equipment that you are um, you have seized apparently so they will not do Galamse, uh, ending up with an individual mm -hmm. who in able intentionally is returning them to the Galamse site. Now you have arrested that individual. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means that the, the leakage you have of mm -hmm. equipment mm -hmm. being arrested and seeping back into Galamse will be ended with the arrest of that individual. So we should so applaud. As, as a forward-moving conversation, mm -hmm. what we are interested in, or you should be interested in, is how do we ensure 
that after post a call, we see, assuming he's guilty, mm -hmm. how do we ensure that we don't have another individual or we don't have other people who would practice the same thing he was doing? That is when you are having progressive forward-moving conversation. How could, how could, how possible is it that you have an interministerial committee yeah. of interior, of defense, of the Ministry of Environment, Science and Technology, mm -hmm. of water resources, all put together. Mm -hmm. You have Operation Vanguard, yeah. which is the military, the police, immigration. All of these people yeah. were intact, alive and well. Yeah. And you have the excavators sip through, through the hands of a civilian. Yeah. It should be a concern to you. It's that, not a concern to me, that, Johnny. That, look, we say we have, we have everything in place. Yeah. And one individual... Yeah slips through it. Johnny, if you make that argument, then we should tell you that we have the whole state apparatus, okay? Financial regimes, check and balances. But then we have Mr. Bugapele, mm. uh, misappropriate funds in this country. The fact that you have systems, mm. the fact that you have security, the fact that you have everything being watched doesn't mean people will not have criminal intent. So okay. that argument is flawed. What we okay. are saying is mm. that the individual has been arrested. Okay. Let our citizens be interested and make sure that guy is punished. Is it as simple as that? It's as simple as that because once the guy who is causing the mess, because from what you are saying, Goodness. okay, the interministerial committee is working apparently because they are arresting or seizing this equipment. Does that not indicate so? Mm. And then we have an individual involved in that case who is leaking the equipment seized not to do Galamse mm -hmm. back into the Galamse well, the party site. The general secretary was mentioned in that, that video uh, that we showed, even though we couldn't see his face. Yeah. Prof was mentioned, and yeah. somebody says the voice sounds like that of Professor Frim Pomboating. And who says so? Are you, what well, somebody says that. <laughs> I mean, who's so, the somebody? So he is a legend, for example. Hold on, so he is a legend. I don't, I don't, I think no, that no, no, are, no. indulging. No, no, allow me, no, no, allow no, me. Anyway. He, you, are just, the, you have the you ones that have raised thing. questions. No, so but, but, allow him but, but, to respond but, but, to the questions. But, but, but you see. Allow I, him to, I, to answer the questions. I think that, I think that Look, it is. Johnny, I want to, I want to Johnny, you concede oh, oh, certain Johnny, things. Johnny, Johnny. Do you, do you still want to respond to the video? Yes, because for me, Johnny. Johnny, and so. Oh, so any place, Let me, let me ask my question. Johnny. The voice on the thing, you can say, is Professor from Pomboati. Somebody says it sounds like Professor from sounds, Pomboati. But I don't know that for a fact. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. He mentions John Bodu as General Secretary's name. Who is he? And what is he mentioning him in relation to? Is he saying that he committed a crime? Mm -hmm. I don't know this thing. So the point of the matter is this, that nice. Suhini so introduced this intentionally today. Okay. And for, it's very for, unfortunate for that... For purposes of diverting attention from talking about these issues that affect our development. Look, Johnny, let me, let me allow him the space. Let me allow him the space. Please, please, please. This is not accusation. You brought the video up. Okay. What I'm trying to say is that, Johnny. May I say, may I say that it was not Suhini alone that brought the video up. The video. But he introduced also, that the, into our discussion. Well, the video was yeah. also sent onto our uh, media general news page. And it's here. Yeah, so. Suhini is not our source for the video this morning. No problem. No yes. problem. I'm not so accusing you of let's, anything. So let's put it on I'm, record. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm saying that in our conversation, the discussion about video came about because Suhini brought it mm. intentionally to seize a moment mm. not to talk about issues of national development. Oh, I am going to tell you, Johnny. Okay. Okay. In a very simple wrap up for me. Yeah, I, I, I will wrap up. I'll wrap up. Bite on, you uh, see? Because sometimes, like I said, it's painful when we want to move this country oh, forward and people God. are just intentionally okay. engaged in matters that don't take us forward. Sweeney, why well, are you intentionally Johnny, let me, let me, us back? Let me, let me just finish for you. you. Know, so the you truth know, is, you know, the truth you know, is, the truth is, you know, what Johnny, afflicts us Johnny, today Johnny, mm, is finding solutions to the problems we have. And that solution is being preferred. But the Isn't NDC and Suhini yourself. are not That's interested right. in you. that. They are talking about Aisha one, which was of yesterday. Suhini, why are you dragging Please. us back, according to Richard I hear, but why are you intentionally dragging us back? I admire Richard's boldness and confidence this morning. I admire it. If I were him, trust me, after you aired that video, I would have run out of the studio, really? out of shame. What really? I admire his boldness. And... Honestly, I think that it has been painful for viewers to watch him 
you know, just make your point and stop blaster. talking about me. Allow, I mean, what is he talking Richard, about? Richard, me for? Hold on. Richard, so you need that's the This is what he does all the let, time. Let the what viewers decide about whether it's been paid. Just but, discuss but, but, but you cannot, the point. You cannot, you cannot tell me how I should have my. But you cannot be discussing me. Richard, I'm, oh, I'm not. Richard, all along you were discussing me. All along you were discussing me. But he's discussing me. No, all along you were discussing me. So don't do it to him. All along he was discussing me. Don't do it to him. Why is he discussing me? Am I the issue? All along he was discussing me. You're no, talking no, about no, how no. I'm bringing back I'm trying, they are because trying to what move development did. and I'm bringing back the country. Because you did so, that. So I'm also talking about <laughs> how you are behaving. Oh, really? I'm also talking is, about, I'm saying that he's behaving very boldly. Bold. That should be a compliment. <laughs> it's not, because you see, if I, I were him, I don't honestly, I would have run out of this studio <laughs> out of shame. And I think it's been painful for viewers to watch him, you know, do the acrobatics. Just talk. The and facts. just bluster around. I think it is shameful. <laughs> I think it is embarrassing. This is a man who supports a regime that is prosecuting the national chairman of the NDC based on a voice recording. Who sits here and says, we can't see their faces, so let's forget it, move on. Ridiculous. Very dishonest. Very, very dishonest. We can't see their faces, so let's move on. But you are prosecuting, you belong to a party, and you have justified it on platforms that is prosecuting a chairman of the opposition political party based on an audio recording that you claim his voice is on. Isn't it? And that's the dishonesty of the NPP I speak of. Then again, he talks about we should focus on the moving equipment because that is going to move Ghana. I mean, the equipment that have been moved mm. because that's what is going to uh, uh, bring about development What's in Ghana. What's your problem with that? Goodness and mercy. And he says, we should talk about how we will prevent what? such things from happening again. Yet, you have evidence uh -huh. of the man who you say has involved in crime mm. telling you his partners. And then you say, hey. So you go and lock him up and his partners are out there operating. How have you self helped Ghana? Isn't it ridiculous oh, to make that partners. argument? The man you say has involved himself in crime is providing you with evidence that he's not the only one involved in the crime. And then you say, that discussion won't help Ghana. Just lock up that man and leave his partners out there so that they can recruit new people like him to continue doing the crime and that will help Ghana. Six people were arrested. What kind of reasoning? Six, six people were arrested. Lose? Six people were arrested. <laughs> no, yeah, no, but in this video, okay. we are told that uh, the general secretary John Bredu, mm. a kokusi, the didn't criminal. He said John did anything he wrong. He said John, he and John came to him and then what? And discussed the plan that what he's plan? implementing. Okay, but the, the, in the he video, in the video, didn't say that. the the prof says that well, he was not alerted that the plan Had was started, going to roll. But at least they discussed with him the plan he was implementing. And what was the plan? The plan is exactly what we are discussing. That is not true. That, 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 that the, is, the, how the, does the plan include the, a concession? The, 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 the fight, the fight, the fight oh, that is meant God. to enrich the MPP mm. and not to rid people of Galamsey. That is not that true. That is the plan. Okay, thank you. And that is but what so we describe as wicked and selective application oh, of the ban. Thank you. Please, let's be honest let's, in this let's country. Switch yes. Yes. Let's switch gears. Let's switch gears. Pretense, really. So, so, pretense. so, yeah, so, pretense. so yesterday, the National Peace Council was Shocking. disappointed that you didn't sign the roadmap to ending vigilantism in this country. There were 22 pointers. You say four of them were related to political parties. The other 18 are related to other partners or stakeholders. And you say you won't sign because it's too early. Why is it too early? We need to end vigilantism. What's holding you back? Just like you said, there were 24, 22, 22, right. 22 points. Now, four of it mm. relates to only political parties. The majority relate to other stakeholders. Mm. And so, we don't want a sham, like we have just finished discussing the fight against Galamse mm. in the commitment okay. to end vigilantism. We want it to be broad-based and holistic. Right. And we want mm. all of us to come to the table meaning well. Mm. And so, if majority of the, you know, uh, uh, if you like, protocols mm. relate to other stakeholders. Mm. Why rush only four for political parties to sign 
when the majority are not part of we are not saying look we are not saying we are against the protocol in fact if you listen to mr alex mm -hmm. he did indicate that the protocols agreed on are good but why didn't you inform the npc ahead that you won't be available for the signing because Mr. Segbefia admitted that, look, you should have informed them ahead, but exactly. you didn't. Exactly. Why didn't you? Exactly. Look, we th th there shouldn't be any haste in taking a decision that will eventually help all of us to rate vigilantism. Where do we go from here? Let's get back to the table. Let's get all the other stakeholders to be part of the signing and the discussion. That's all. The MPP signed yesterday. Well, it's within their right. But we think that, and, and you see, for us, from the beginning again, we told you mm. that this government was not committed in the fight against vigilantism. There's we told a, you. There's a law against vigilantism. We told you it was a sham. And it was proven when the Emil Short Commission ended its report <laughs> and they whitewashed it. And they decided not to accept their recommendations. We told you. So for them, it is for the cameras. Mm. But for us, it is for the future. Okay, oh, Johnny. I'll give and it you, must I'll be give done you, well. Uh, Richard, I'll give if you a minute. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Johnny, no, if it is worth doing, mm -hmm. it must be done well. Let me just, let and me we just think respond. it is worth doing. I, oh, you want, let me just I, respond. I, 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 Etna Miss is on your oh, TV Etna now. Miss, okay. Isn't she beautiful? Some gone. messages. Uh, oh, guys. She's from the Republic of Water. All right, some messages coming in. Right. Good morning, TV3 and your lovely viewers. Please ask Honorable Suhini what their government did in the fight against Galamse and why he thinks we should vote for them at least. We have a government that uh, has made an effort to seize Galamse and went ahead to seize excavators. Let's give the government some credit and stop the hypocrisy as if we care. We saw what was happening under the NDC regime since 2009. I'm glad the excavators and the tricycles have been found. At least we can say that there is some kind of improvement. The guinea fowls went and never returned. Jacob from Tamale. This, good morning, Mr. Johnny Hughes. Please tell the MPP man that Ghanaians are tired of their corrupt government. How can excavators seize from Galamse gone backside? Uh, this government had finally sold the Kobo Forest Nashanti to the Chinese corrupt government. This, hello, TV3. Good morning. I'm really enjoying your program. Please tell the MPP man not court trainees are demanding their arrears. Uh, the mode of payments will never help we the trainees. This is Saba Abdul Hafiz inside Wulensi. Good morning, Johnny. Thanks for the good work you're doing. I think we need to be truthful to ourselves and always acknowledge and appreciate our institutions when they are doing the right thing. Corruption has become the norm of the day. So when uh, some actions are being taken to deal with such issues, let an appropriate, let us appreciate rather than playing politics with it. Many corrupt activities went unnoticed. So let my NDC MP understand the fact that it's not a good news, but at least the action taken should be commended. God sing from a shaman. Good morning, Johnny and my brother Suhini. If uh, if it will all uh, if you all want the Galante to stop, then we should go in as full war with our military forces to fight them since we don't have war with any country. <laughs> Abu Spain, Medina. Good morning, Mr. Host. Comparatively, when it comes to the fight against Galamse, NDC is nowhere near MPP. Suhini should stop the mischief. Mr. Host, next time, let Suhini stick to the issue discussed from mm -hmm. Adam uh, Swale uh, Tamale. Good morning, Johnny. Ghana lost the Galamse fight since the day uh, 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 Charles, Charles Bissu mm -hmm. was caught on tape taking bribe. It's a shame from Kadir. Why was that, uh, he suspended from his position as a deputy in his party and mm -hmm. you will reassign to him to take charge of those excavators? Our leaders are a problem. Godwin Kamel from Boko. Good morning, Johnny. In fact, there is no fight against Galamse. The leadership of the MPP are gaining massively from the perceived fight against Galamse. The executive director of Dankwa Institutes knows the damage caused by his party, Big Men, and he's trying to distract Honorable Suini from exposing the mess that they have created. But what do we expect? All cleared. Very sad this morning. And he has this look on his face. Mm. Robert Bakuro, UDS. Good morning, TV3, respectively. Uh, the MPP uh, man should be called to order because he is turning the program into something else. That's all okay. for this morning. Something else that like what? Some anyway, <laughs> thank you for your messages, Etanam. Thank you. Thank Richard, you, you have a final having... bite yes. on this yes. one. Yes. Um, um, your party signed the Peace Pact. The NDC says it's early days yet. Bring in all the stakeholders because there are 18 points that relate to them. You can't put just four and put us together and sign it. The other version of the conversation I'm raising is that 
you put together the Emil Short Commission of, of very respectable people. They've given you recommendations. They've asked you what to do. Double and the rest need to be dealt with. They need to be prosecuted. Compensation needs to be paid. Mm. You put a white paper on it to, as they say, whitewash it. Mm -hmm. And you are calling them to come and sign a peace pact. They mm. say, deal with the first issues and then they can come and sign. What do you say? Shifting the goalpost, I call it. Shifting the goalpost is what the NDC does. From where to where? I speak to you as a Ghanaian, not as an MPP person or Danko Institute. <laughs> I speak to you, Jody, about how is it that we must build this country and the responsibility <laughs> necessary to do it. Yeah, Were we not we here, Ghanaians. please, we please, please. Ghanaians. Were we not Ghanaians. here? Ghanaians. Were we not here? Not MPP, not Were Ghanaians. we not here the last time That's when your, people congregate in Ayawaso to celebrate right. something that happened? Mm -hmm. And those same people, you call them to come and sign a document if truly they were committed, apart from just playing to the gallery, mm -hmm. huh? wouldn't they have come to sign? We are making progress in this they country. They said they had no police There has been, there has been a Tiwa before Ayawaso. Huh? There, have been, there has been the a Sunafo two. before Ayawaso. Don't compare the two. They huh? not there have been currency before Ayawaso. They are not Nobody. Listen, nobody celebrated. Well, if you are doing that, I tell you, they if you go to a certificate, there are people sitting in room maimed because of your conduct over there. Abdullah Naba, uh, Naba or whatever the guy's name is, said they, they killed people. Who celebrated that? But you see, we have come full circle and we want to commit to making sure that things that have happened in the past will not replay. And you have demonstrated your lack of commitment. Expose yourself. After you have gone to do a public spectacle mm. of a thing saying that you are in support well, of well, fighting. Well, uh, well, well, the MPP government as commitment yes. implements the recommendations of the Absolutely. Emil Short Commission. If we, if we, which, which one, what do you call about that? The what commission, Emil Short Commission, punish people. They name people that have to be prosecuted. Yeah. Is the MPP committed to this? Well, they will not. Well, well, you can find out. You can speak to uh, the, the, the officers responsible for that, but the issue but, but you have brought... The ticket of the no, MPP. no, I'm here from Dankwa Institute. Okay. okay. You are not MPP. I tell you what Ghanaian. I know. Da Johnny, Johnny, the issue you have Mr. brought okay. is yes. what I'm answering. You, you have answered. The, the you have point answered. is that... I was just that, asking a residual yes, question. Yes. The point of the matter is that mm. the NDC have exposed themselves that all they have been doing so far mm. is a charade. They are not committed to the fight against vigilantism. Mm. They are just making it up. And that's how they have been from day one. Are they making they sense by never... asking that all the other 18 pointers and their stakeholders should, should be brought on board before they sign? Does it make sense? It doesn't. Okay. Absolutely Thank you. doesn't. Richard Ahiagba is the executive uh, director is of uh, the Dankwa Institute. Admire he says boldness. he's Ghanaian. He's not MPP. Uh, <laughs> but he's here on the ticket of the NPP That's as well. Honesty. And um, Alassane Sohini is the honorable member for Tamale North. Uh, he's a member of parliament representing them. And he's here on the ticket of the NDC. Thank you for watching.